we often face the difficult question of what to do when we face a stable baby who could be fed directly but we don't have breast milk as a baby cannot suck feed directly when they are early premature and uh, the mother is still recovering from her section or something like that. So in these situations we should consider the fact that the milk, both breast milk and formula contain all the nutrients needed for the growth and the repair including protein, carbohydrates, fat and micronutrients and even a very short period on just dextrose can lead to catabolism and um, it sets the baby back in the growth process. We often assume that it's safe to keep the babies on just dextrose but there may be unrecognized effects. This is the early critical stage of pre-programming so uh, not being exposed to the other components of the nutrition and diet may not be good for them. TPN has its risks, uh, it's expensive, you need central access, there is a risk of infection and so if the baby is stable we don't consider TPN normally in ex unless it's 16 premature babies and any IV intervention has a high risk of infection as well. So it's always better to discuss with the families that giving the formula milk for a brief time till the breast milk is available uh, is a reasonable option rather than just giving the dextrose but we should make it clear that the mother has to work hard to get the breast milk and uh, this is only till the breast milk is available. It's almost like a medi medicinal indication and it's like using IV fluids for example. So uh, I don't believe it's uh, harmful in such cases to use formula for one or two days till the breast milk is available but you need to ensure that your support system for the breastfeeding is well established.